Hello everyone, Raphael here from Network Engineer Pro. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the solution for the BGP MD5 Authentication Lab. When you're working with BGP, you have the option to configure MD5 authentication between two neighbors. This helps make sure that you're pairing with routers that you're supposed to be pairing with. We don't want any unauthorized neighbors coming up. In this lab, there's two topologies. There's one with interfaces only, and if I scroll down a little bit, there's one with full IP addressing. You can see there's four routers and four BGP autonomous systems. If I scroll down a little bit more, I'm gonna have the tasks here. Task one is to configure eBGP peerings between all the routers according to the diagram using their directly connected links. Task two is to configure MD5 authentication between R1 and R2 using the password hasta la vista baby. Task three is to configure MD5 authentication between R1 and R3, the password is winter is coming. Task four is to configure MD5 authentication between R3 and R4, the password is not in Kansas anymore. Task five, the final task, is to configure MD5 authentication between R2 and R3. The password is Space Trooper. The most important thing about authentication in any protocol is that the password on both ends need to match. If there's an extra character or something is lowercase and it's not supposed to be, then no neighbors come up. Let's jump right into the CLI. In this video, the tasks are already completed. I'm gonna show you the final solution on each device and how to verify it. To look at router one's BGP config, I'm gonna use the command show run pipe section BGP. Here I can see that R1 has its BGP process defined using autonomous system number one. R1 has two eBGP peerings. You can see here that there's a neighbor statement pointing to R2 in AS2. To configure the BGP MD5 password used between R1 and R2, you're gonna use the neighbor command and make sure you're specifying the right neighbor, then password, followed by the actual password you wanna use, which in this case, it's hasta la vista baby. Next, you'll see a neighbor statement and password for R1's peering to R3. Now I'll go ahead and jump to R2. I'll use the same show command, show run pipe section BGP, and hit enter. R2 has two peerings configured as well. You can see that in its BGP config, there's a neighbor statement and a password going back towards R1. And that specific password, hasta la vista baby, matches with what R1 has. Next, you'll see the neighbor statement and password going towards R4. Now let's look at R3. I'll use the same command, show run pipe section BGP, and hit enter. R3's BGP config looks really similar to the other routers that I've looked at so far. It has a neighbor statement pointing back to R1. It also has an MD5 password of winter is coming. This matches between R1 and R3. Next, you're gonna see the neighbor statement pointing to R4 along with the password of not in Kansas anymore. Now let's go to R4. I'll use the same show command, show run pipe section BGP and hit enter. In R4's BGP process, you can see the neighbor statement pointing back to R2, and it has a password of Space Trooper. The final config on R4 is it's peering to R3 in AS3, and it has the password of not in Kansas anymore. Now that the configuration between all the routers looks good, let's do some quick verifications. I'm already here in R4, so I could use the verification command, show IP BGP neighbors, pipe include BGP, and I'll hit enter. This shows me that I have two neighbors, the BGP state is established and the peerings have been up for about 49 minutes. Another useful command that I can do is show IP BGP summary. I'll go ahead and hit enter here. This confirms that I have two neighbors that are up. They've been up for 50 minutes and I'm receiving no prefixes from them. Now it's time to verify the neighbor authentication since we've configured it. You can use the command show TCP brief and hit enter. Remember, BGP sessions are done using TCP over port 179. We can see these TCP connections here. If I do the following command, show TCP TCB as in Bravo, which stands for transmission control block, then I paste this number here, which is related to the TCP connection between R4 and R2, pipe include MD5 and hit enter, I can see that MD5 is present in the option flags. This means that for this TCP connection, right, this peering from router four to router two, MD5 authentication is enabled. If you use this command and you don't see MD5 here in the options flag, then that means for this BGP session, authentication is not enabled. Now I'll go ahead and verify that the other BGP neighbors are up in the rest of this lab. I'll go onto R1 and use the show IP BGP summary command and hit enter. I can see that R1 has two neighbors. It's peering with router two and router three. I can see the uptime and that I'm receiving no prefixes. If I go over to R2 and do the same command, show IP BGP summary and hit enter, R2 has peerings with R1 and R4. You can see the uptime 
and that we're receiving no prefixes. Now I'll go on to router three and do the same thing. Show IP BGP summary and hit enter. R3 has peerings with R1 and R4. They are up and we're receiving no prefixes. And you can see that on all the routers in this lab, the BGP peerings are configured using the directly connected links and we have MD5 passwords configured. And this completes the BGP MD5 authentication lab. If you need help with this lab, something doesn't make sense, the feature's not working, then feel free to leave a comment or ask a question in the discussion at the end of the lab and I'll be sure to help you out. Have a great day.